good morning, good morning, good morning. Stocks go up, stocks go down. Then we see, then we see, then we see. So two scenarios today. Uh, hold on, let me turn this down. We break this 5%, and everybody thinks that it's a top, and then we go back under, and if it gets under 4.8, the market has a rip growing rally, 30, 50 points. The other scenario is we pop back below 5% and then rock it through, back up through 5%, and we just collapse. Wow. Interesting, right? And nothing looks good. Everything looks bad. We're sitting on Bitcoin, so we have Bitcoin. So that's or not Bitcoin, uh, MicroStrategy. That looks nice. So we catch a couple points out of that. We only got two things. That and we got some Avago just in case something happens with that. That's it. We don't have anything else. We bought some SPXs. They're down a little bit because uh, you just got to have them. Uh, and didn't buy a lot because you just, you're right at this 5%. You don't know what's going to happen. Okay? But the news, everybody is not telling you the truth. That's how, how's that? That's an easy way to say it. Nobody is telling you the truth. And I've said this before. The Costco CEO lying. Walmart CEO lying. Disney lying doing stupid shit. Netflix lying. Chipotle lying. You can't make this stuff up, guys. Can't make this up. People telling you they're not raising prices. They are. People telling you things are getting better, they're not. And so I talked to some people, I know some people that work like at Procter & Gamble and I work, work at some of these uh, food places. And this is really disturbing to me. Now, once again, I don't believe everybody. So I'm not telling you this is 100% true. But here, this is actually disturbing. They're telling me that they're not raising prices on, on a bunch of stuff. But a bunch of the vendors, like a Walmart, so let's say Procter & Gamble sells, I don't know what the hell, hell they sell, but uh, just, just say they sell, I don't know, Tide, just making it up. Tide at $10 to the retailer. And the retailer always sold it at 12 So the retailer is now raising the price to 13 and Tide, I mean, uh, Procter & Gamble didn't raise their price. Now, that's disturbing. That tells you this is going to get way ugly because these guys are just lying through their teeth because they can. Okay? Now, everybody thinks they can't, but they can. Okay? Let's say you live. See, a lot of people live in these, these places where there's not a ton of stores. And then they have one or two stores. And then they've got to drive 15 miles or 10 miles to get to the next store. Now, that's not true with me. There's a bunch of stores all around, okay? Because uh, I view that as a perk. But these, these people, all these places are just raising their prices because they can. If, you're, if you live by four or five mom and pop restaurants, they're all raising their prices because they're going to say, what are you going to do? Where else are you going to go? I mean, it, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy, but that's what's happening, Okay. But the, the notion that the vendors are going to raise their prices without the supplier, the manufacturer raising their prices just because they want to is really crazy. Now, you know, years ago, they would have manufacturers suggested retail price on there, right? Which they do. And very rarely would you see a price way above that. That's not the case anymore. That's different. Okay? So you got to watch for that. Okay? Uh, th think about things in the world. Disney, Disney raises prices 
at their parks, even though that their parks aren't even halfway full. Wow. Let's raise prices and nobody's coming. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, because here's the thing. Now, I understand the CEOs. You had to look at it from both ways. The CEOs are saying, look, I'm going to lose my job if I don't make no more money, so let's just raise prices. Screw everybody. That's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. Okay? Uh, thanks, Kevin. Uh, so that's what we know. So today what happens? Do we go up? Do we go down? Look, this is this looks as ugly as it can look. We did really great last week again. Boom. You buy stuff. You sell stuff. You get out. I mean, here's your thing. You may pop here, but if we take out 40, 40, uh, 200 with force, we're way down. We're way, 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 way lower. That's why I bought these puts. You just got to have them, okay? Uh, Avago up a little bit. Uh, NVIDIA still down. And let me tell you this. NVIDIA breaks 400. Get out of the way. That may be the day that everything collapses. If the best stock with the best earnings is going to collapse, then everything else is going to go with it, okay? SMCI hits 300 last week and drops to 240, 250. And we nailed them. We nailed them again, uh, but sold them too early, okay? So just understand that that's what's going on. That's what's going on in the world, okay? Uh, terrorist events, people think, at some point that's going to happen again. Jesus, this is crazy. Uh, the war, does that pick up? So I've told you some ways of knowing how, what the market's doing is, are things in tandem. When Pan W is up three and CrowdStrike is down three, that tells you they don't know if Pan W should be up or down. They're just some people buying, some people selling. Very straightforward. So don't force trades, okay? Unless things are in tandem. And then we see, then we see, then we see. This, this micro strategy may be a grand slam. So we may have caught it. It, it, it was near 330,000. If it broke 30,000, it was going to go. If it take, now if it takes out 32,000, this thing is over 400, and we're going to get uh, uh, $30 from four. Very nice. Okay? And that'll be the whole week. Fun, right? Fun. Things are going low. Caterpillar. Caterpillar said the greatest environment they've ever had, more orders than can, they can ever see, and it's down forty dollars. Wow, forty dollars. Not fun. Microsoft earnings, Amazon earnings, both will affect the clouds. Uh, AWS and Azure, and they're both raising prices again. Jesus. Uh, so just keep an eye on that. EMPH, another downgrade. First solar getting worse. Uh, solar is getting really bad. Let me tell you something about solar, okay? So back in 2008, when the market was cratering, way back, way back then, so first solar, I used to trade it a lot, was way higher, and it got bad. And then it got worse. And then it got worse. And then it got worse. And for four years, it didn't get better. Four years. Not one week, for four years. Now, I told you the scummy solar companies and and these industries that have that are all scummy industries they, they they just people don't go back if you say you live somewhere and you go get a solar company and they're not fixing your roof or something happens or they didn't finish their install nobody on the next six streets are buying from anybody they're not buying from anybody i don't care what you think it, it just is that's how it is. Nobody's going to deal with this stuff, okay? They don't want to deal with it. Tesla breaking, sure looks like 200's coming and then 180. He, he, let me tell you, these Gary Black and these guys, it's really funny to me, is because they have funds and they have the fund and it's all in Tesla, all they do is, is, is talk this bullshit up when things are bad. These guys, oh, you know why I'm raising my, my uh, uh, estimate? Really? You're raising your estimate? While, while the CEO told you more price cuts are coming? You, you can't even make this stuff up. 
You can't make it up. Don't get caught. The last time people got caught, it went from 300 to 100. It sure looks like 180. If Microsoft misses, they're, they're, things are really going to collapse. I'm telling you. They're going to sell everything. They're going to sell everything. Okay? So just chill and wait, chill and wait, chill and wait. See if Lily gets better. It needs news. Lily had two days of news. Had news on Friday that they got somebody else to manufacture, and then they're going to go testing kids, and it went down. So on two events, it went down. So you got to wait. Very straightforward. Just got to wait. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay? Uh, see what happens. Bitcoin looks good. What else we got? That's about it. That's about it. And NVIDIA. If NVIDIA breaks, we're way lower. We're way low. NVIDIA is now down $60 from when this news came out. $60. Okay? Uh... <laughs> Now, I don't think a big war is coming, just because people will take forever. Did, did, you, did you read the one thing? I mean, one of the dumbest things i ever seen, So this article says Israel is not going to start a war because it's going to take them, um, you know, one year to plan for it. Jesus. <laughs> you think you're going to take one year to plan? You can't even make this stuff up. One year. Not, not one week or one month or six months. One year. Interesting. Okay. That's what I know. That's what I know. That's what I know. Do you know, and let me just tell you something, things you guys don't know. Do you know that the U.S. has what they call think tanks? And really smart people write these papers and step to step on what you would do if, if this happened, this happened, this happened. If Putin launch is ready and you get indication that he's going to launch a nuke, they go pull a paper that tells you what you should do in the next 10 steps. They don't take one year to plan, okay? <laughs> if they see an alien ship come into orbit, there's already a paper that tells you what you should do. They don't say we're going to wait and see for one year. It's just funny. It's just funny. So let's call think tanks, okay? That's what they do. And then they run it through all these scenarios, and they're all fake scenarios, but, hey, if there, any of them could be possible, okay? And I'm, now I'm sure that with AI – that they're getting help on all these scenarios, okay? That's what I know. Okay, let's get started here. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Stocks go up, stocks go down. SPX down 14, it was down 22. It was down 22, and why is 22 important? Because it hit right at 4,200. So that's an important number. Under 4,200, bad. 4,130 becomes huge, and if that breaks, you're at 4,000. Okay? Very straightforward. Okay, upside 4,300 needs to be up 75 to get better. Then we see, then we see, then we see. Okay, uh, Avago, do they get news? Do they close? Uh, today's the 23rd. Today's the vote day. Do they? So you would think some type of news comes tomorrow. If it doesn't come tomorrow, then the company's lying to you about what was going to happen, and they're not going to do nothing, and it's not going to create way more. Okay, Nvidia 409, 406. 400 huge, 391, 365 at a break. Upside, 432. Adobe, very strong, 521 down, 572 up. <coughs> Lamb Research, getting worse. 609, 632 up, 582 down. Pan W, came from 462. It's at 240, uh, two, yeah, 262. It's back to 240. It's down 22 points. 239, 202, needs to get through 262. Z-Scaler, 171. MDB will move, MDB will move 20 points this week, up or down. And Snow will move 10 to 15 points, up or down, based on Azure and AWS. Okay? We'll talk about it more as it gets near. Caterpillar. 256. I actually like the 265s at a dollar. They're way higher than that. If he were to bring it down for earnings, a couple of weeks out. Coin moving again, 78. MicroStrategy, 272. Lily, 600 and 603. 
Snowman 162, BKNG. Look at BKNG. Down $400 on a $9 beat. Because here's the thing. They think if a war starts, all travel stops, and they they go way down to 2200 Okay? Netflix. Hilarious to me. 406, 409. Uh, SMCI. 252, 261. Underneath 236 is bad. N phase 91, 87. Needs 122. NOW earnings this week, 572 up, 509 down. Microsoft, 342 up. This will break 300 if they say Copilot is delayed. Tesla, 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 206, 192. First Solar, 152 up, 131 down. That's what we know. CMG earnings to you. Thank you. Uh, interesting, interesting. That's what we know. Okay, everybody have a great trade day. See you in chat.